All right, so first things first, uh, I'm going to show you how to turn this character into something you can 3D print. That's pretty ugly, right? Right. So first you need Mac tools and text tools. And if you don't know what those are, here is the video that I watched to learn about it. He goes over them really well and also talks about posing the character which you need at the end. And the other video that I watched is from Medjed. And holy heck is it confusing. He goes really fast, doesn't really explain what's going on, but credit where it's due. This is the video that I poured through and Figured out for three hours to finally get to a spot where it actually makes sense. So I'm sure Medjed and other people that have Blender experience it is a great video. Sorry, dude. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click through the materials that are on your objects, right? So here's your materials tab. This over here defines what part they belong to. So what I did just now is I found all of these A parts, which is basically the character's skin. So what I'm going to show now is this jacket. So I want to find all the pieces that are top A. My normal process is that I open up paint, or not paint, uh, photos. I open up the file folder with photos, and then I just start at whatever one is the beginning. And you're probably going to want to do that anyway, so we might as well show it. Because it's kind of the only way you can tell what these things are. Um, let's see. It's going to be this one. So these are the files that you're looking for, right here. All of these purple, the, the normals, and open with photos. So the reason you're going to want to open them is that you're kind of going to have to figure out what they belong to if you don't know. So this picture helps show, but then also here in the materials identifies what piece those belong to. So top A is what we're looking for for the jacket, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go through the process of that, but my process is I find them all, and then I hit control or no, it's not control, it's just H, H to hide. Alt H is to unhide. And then when I'm going through and going through this process, what I do is I hit control Z to go backwards. Like this might be part of the, nope, it's not part of the armor, it's part of the glove, so no problem there. So I don't have to go back. But otherwise, I would just hit control Z and bring back the part I just hid and then I would click the glove piece there and then I would hit control J to join them while they were both selected but not the case Hide. now I'm looking for this right here this jacket top B top A B, top B, 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 and that turns into gloves. So all of this is B sure at least that much of it was B so I'm gonna hit control J 
and then every time you join an object go into edit mode go to mesh clean up merge by distance right here at the bottom you saw you could see it it said 75 vertices removed but every time you combine the objects you need to clean them up and then also they're all supposed to go to alpha clip and I'm not sure exactly why that reason is but what's supposed to happen with it so now that I have that I'm gonna hide it and see if there's any other B parts that's A that's A that's a glove there's the B part all right, so I'm gonna hit Control Z and bring those back from being hidden. And I need to get that other B part in. Looks like there's more than one B part. That's also a B part. So. That's B, that's B, that's B, and we know that's B. Roll J to join them. Edit mode. Mesh. Merge by distance. Back to object mode. Alright. Hide those. That's all A. That part is A. Oh, it's going to be legs and things. I don't, not going to worry about that right now. I don't think there's anything I can click on that's not A. Alright, so we know these are both A. Control J. Edit mode mesh clean up merge by distance object mode hide it looks like one more chess piece part top A and top A alright so I'm gonna hit control Z to undo and bring that back and select those two pieces. I can. That's down. Really can't get a good click on it. Just this piece here, isn't it? That's underneath. It's almost like right in the middle. that part and that's what we're trying to grab and then this part and then uh, this part uh, all right oh, they're all one edit mode mesh clean up merge by distance okay hide that and then that's all of the clothes for sure. So now I'm just going to bring it all back and hit Alt H. And I'm going to click the arms and hide that back up. So we're going to start with this one and then that's all I'm going to show and that'll be the end of the video basically. What you need to do when you bring these objects first in, you need to hit 
object and then shade flat and that shows you what these are gonna look like when uh, it gets printed so you just hit A to select everything and then go to object shade flat but I've already done that so now what you do is you have to add modifiers and you need three and they have to be done in order add modifier first you need to solidify that makes it so things like that belt actually have something to print and then you need to subdivide and I don't do more than four because much more than that things start freaking out and crashing then this one is the one that adds all the details the reason that you do subdivide is because what you're gonna do is you're gonna print the normals from the textures right onto this and then that'll give it some detail pop so what we're looking for is top A right so add modifier displays new texture by UVs strength is 0 0.01 and you can experiment with that and go less or more and just get as much pop in there as what you deem is necessary so then you click this little shelf thing here it takes you down to this tab here this checkered board where you're going to open up that texture and then it was top A N N is for normal I know that already but you can verify that in this file folder and you can look for the one that you are trying to do what I normally do is I just have it open in in photos here and I just go through them and then whatever one I come across next is the one that I'm working on. But I know that this is top A normal. All right. And you see how nice it looks now? Added in all the details. And that is all you're trying to do. So you're going to do that with every single one. So then one more thing. Uh, once you get all of these in here like this all these modifiers you have to go to object and then convert and then mesh for every single object after you add the modifiers and make sure you're done first like that you have all of the objects that you want in that mesh because there's no going back at this point so boom all those modifiers are applied and that is now one object with those textures applied and that's kind of it that's kind of all you got to do but you got to do it with every single one now I haven't gone to posing and I haven't tried to 3d print yet and I don't know for 3d posing if you want all of these objects combined into one mesh before you do I'm kind of assuming for posing you don't want to combine them all like when you're done posing that's when I'm gonna combine them all like I'll just hit a and then I'll hit control J and I will combine the whole thing into one whole piece just make sure every time that you hit control J that you are going into edit mode clean up and then by distance so that you're getting rid of all the vertices and that you're combining the meshes better but anyway, that's really all that's got to be done. And I'll see ya. Hopefully that helped. If you want to buy me a beer, feel free. Thanks.